What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of one of the last wars for Invicta. Actually, I need to start this video off by apologizing uh, to everyone actually because I made a mistake and um, I, I'll explain the situation. I recently had my 10 in 2.0 for a war. Um, I just, I was uh, not warring in Invicta with it uh, just to make numbers for the regular members. Obviously, you know, we're going to give a... a uh, core member uh, a spot before we give someone's mini um, so anyways I haven't warred for the last few wars I had brought it over to 2.0 and just brought it back to Invicta yesterday and realized I had to do the uh, Dust Dominion versus Invicta recap which is an awesome war um, I looked last night and I still had the replays and I knew I'd be able to do it today I just jumped on today and apparently I must have we're talking hours uh, hours ago, I lost the replays and uh, pretty bummed out about it because I had jumped on to do this Dusk Dominion recap and let's just jump on over. We can check it out real fast. Dusk Dominion came in with victory 77 to 77. They won by 0.33% total destruction. So that is a, uh, I, like those are the recaps I live to do. Like, I was so excited. I just, I got my, I, I don't know. I just must have got my times messed up. Thought I still had time. There is still time left in um, the current Invicta War, which I thought I, I had until, um, until it, uh, until the next one was complete and in this page before it disappeared. And apparently I was wrong. Uh, so, anyways, apologies, Dust Dominion. It was an amazing war. Grats to you guys. Definitely hats off to a fantastic war. 0.33% victory. Like, this is what the war community lives for, those kind of matchups. So, um, let's just hop on up. And obviously, the Prime one, too, got wiped. Man, I've been having troubles lately. <laughs> Anyhow, let's jump onto this uh, sort of less interesting war uh against this uh south korean clan uh they did their best 53 to 60 attacks so you can't complain you know they gave it their all uh just missed quite a few of the nines uh, which is usually the story with a lot of these kind of clans uh no fault to them right uh nice to see them do their best uh and use most of their attacks for sure uh you can see invicta did have a slight disadvantage i believe uh ended up missing one of the nines yeah um so missed one of the nines on the board there um it's unfortunate, right? But it is what it is. They did have some, uh, I believe, how many extra town halls do they have? Eight to eight. So no, I lied. They just had extra town halls, uh, 11s, uh, where we had four town hall 11s and four town hall 10s. They had uh, seven town hall, sorry. Yeah. Seven Town Hall uh, 11s and one Town Hall 10. Uh, so slight advantage, not a huge deal though, right? Um, it really, really makes it up when you can clean up the bottom, right? Because when you miss a bunch of the nines, it doesn't matter what happens up top because uh, there is a lot of free stars down here. And that's just uh, that's just where every clan needs to start, right? Cleaning up the nines, letting the tens be able to do their things. Once you have to start using the tens to dip down, that's when uh, you know your nines are struggling a bit and there needs to be some uh, improvement because that's, that's where it starts. If you can't have your nines clear the nines, then... And your 10s aren't going to have a fair shot of clearing the 10s. So uh, anyhow, uh, let's move in. I got a few replays. Some interesting stuff happened in this war I wanted to point out. Uh, I'm just going to start off with <clears throat> this hit right here. Good old Derpy Dude. I just did a... Um, I'm going to pause this real fast. Just did a cleanup episode where I was saying on these sort of form, uh, form bases that are very symmetrical... Uh, air defense are all kind of uh, compact and in with the rest of the base. Uh, this is my go-to attack, and this is what I was talking about in the cleanup episode. Derpidu like does it exactly the same. Only brings five wizards. Okay, so let's look at this. It, this is what we're talking, what I'm talking about. Uh, why I'm so why you, you're comfortable with this attack on the uh, on these uh, very symmetrical bases. <clears throat> if uh, you can only use two golems maybe three to five wizards and your heroes to achieve the goals of two air defense, the CC troops, the defensive queen, uh, and any other sort of chunk of the base you can get, um, then you're looking real good because you can bring three lava hounds and 14 balloons pretty much exactly like Derp does here. Um, and you're looking real good for the rest of the base. There's only two air defense for three lava hounds, and especially against these very compact symmetrical designs, there's not a lot of travel time for your balloons. Look, like it's defense, 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 defense. So under a rage or haste even, 
it, things are going to go down so quickly, right? It's just so easy to get to those air defenses. So it's exactly why Dirt brings this attack here. Sorry, enough of my blabbing. Get this thing started off. Earthquake goes down. It's going to open up that core. Opens up actually three air defense with that earthquake. So uh, looking really good at this point. Only drops three wizards, right? So uh, going to be two golems here and three wizards. Few wall breakers and his heroes. That's all he's going to use to achieve the exactly what he's talking about, using the one heal, just kind of opening everything up, slowly and patiently letting the king walk in there, letting the queen get in there, do the work, pull out the CC troops, down goes the poison any second now. Probably could have dropped that poison already. There it goes. A little bit off. I would have opted to put it more on the queen because it's not getting the queen right now, but no big deal. Heal spell goes down to help that king out. Always imperative you get that heal down when you uh, use the king's ability because you want the heal affecting the barbarians, keeping them healed from the splash damage because see they're out of the heal there and then boom, Barb's already dead. Um, anyhow, they did their job though, right? Because this queen is about to step up. Bam, bam, down goes air defense number two. Kill squad's job is complete. Here come the lava hounds. Two in from about the six, kind of the, between the six clock location there. And being very precise on the loons, two per defense. Like look, all four defenses are going to go down basically at the same time. One, two, three four five right just all going down haste goes in last lava hound in nice and early that's the other thing too you want to get those hounds in early when your kill squad does its job perfectly get the hounds in as soon as they can because um a lot of the times your hounds won't burst right and uh with that that don't having that 30 seconds that can mean the difference a lot of times in the raid if your hound bursts or not anyway it's, as you can see tesla is the only thing to go has one balloon in the bag even for that <coughs> really nice job that sexy max attack, guys, just, you know, quite often if the queen is standing near or in between the uh, air defenses like that, um, lean towards uh, an attack like that because uh, more often than not, I think it has an insanely high um, three-star percentage. <clears throat> Anyhow, moving on. Uh, let's treat in the bag for dirt. <clears throat> what do I have next? 11? I was going to hop around because there's two attacks at the end here that are just crazy. Number 10. Oh, yeah, this is Jacob. I don't think I've ever given a shout-out to Jacob. Um, Jacob, sorry if I'm wrong, is either a co-leader or at least an elder in Invicta. Maybe I'm totally wrong. But regardless, Jacob is uh, one of the most active members in all of One Hive, in my opinion. He helps plan so many people's attacks. He, This guy is a go-to guy for people. Like, like people go to him asking him his advice. Uh because he's just he's so knowledge he's he he's got the tile counts down jacob is so invaluable to the one high family and i just want to say thank you jacob because i see your activity in chats i see you helping guys plan attacks and honestly what you put into this clan is invaluable so thanks buddy just wanted to show your attack here very very sexy little queen walk kind of uh go ho uh, like the poison down on the queen there, right? Did not need to burn any spells. Did not need to burn an ability. Just a one poison down on the queen. This queen's job is done. I don't think he had meant for this to happen. That builder's hut is apparently closer than that gold uh, collector. So she decides to break through the wall. No big deal, right? He's got a bunch of hogs he's sending in. Three heals. Still has that rage in the bag, keep in mind. Drops the king just for cleanup. Does a little bit of tanking. And then uh, and then it's just going to start a cleanup process around the outside. Uh, and hogs in from all angles in the base. There's no... Jake knows there's no serious threat of double giant bombs. Gets the one heal down over the single bomb. No big deal. Might be a DGB, but at an odd angle, right? And that's maybe why I used the queen there. <clears throat> but you can see there's just so many hogs now. Here comes the rage. May as well drop it <clears throat> on the hogs, right? Get a little bit of value. They're just going to shred through that stuff. Fly on over to the cannon. Then they got to hike all the way back across the base to that wizard tower. But as you can tell, this queen is art mopping things up. King and queen have not used their abilities, right? Has some cleanup troops. He's dropping right now as we speak. <clears throat> Take care of the skellies and the defensive king. Very sexy hit, Jacob. Treat in the bag, my friend. All right. So the... Um, Next couple of attacks, I just wanted to touch on the <laughs> the Valkyries and the state of the Valkyrie in the game right now. It's pretty ridiculous, especially Max Valkyries. Um, I can safely say they're not going to stay as they are. Um, I'm going to show you guys a couple examples of why. Uh, so let's first check out number 18. It says Death Hopper. <clears throat> 
Note the troop comp. 19 Valkyries with four healers. Um, you know, this is a, not a best base design, but is a max nine other than the Lego walls, I want to say. You know, 15, 15 heroes. There is no possible way uh, you used to be able to just throw 19 Valkyries at a base like this and come away with a three star, but apparently now you can. So lures that CC out, does a little poison action, has to use the Queen's ability, but no big deal. Going to move on in with this Queen Walk. Here come the Valkyries. Now, in all fairness to this base, it is like the guy made a perfectly natural funnel right into the base here. Um, but notice he doesn't have any jumps. Does not need jump spell. Now, they're only Lego walls, so 20 Valkyries going in is are just going to one-shot these Lego walls. But... Uh, so that's the idea. You're just basically beasting 20 Valkyries through the base and using four heals to quadrant off the base. So everywhere the Valkyries go, they're going to be under heals. And they just one-shot walls. You don't even use jumps. Like, just insane. Look how fast they kill things. Boom. Now, they do do a split here, right? But as soon as the one wall opens, oh, let's all go back that way. <laughs> So they all go into this apartment. Still has a heal. There's really the queen is still walking around with uh with the healers on her. Uh, King hasn't even touched his ability yet. And there's you know two archer towers, two wizard towers, two Teslas remaining. A cannon up here too actually. Clean up troops all over the base now. Valks do end up busting out of the base, but it's just a matter of time before they make their way around. This queen is now gonna walk up into this section and start doing damage to all these defenses. <laughs> just ridiculous. Times two in this action. Yes, I think that, what did I say, 19 Valkyries that was? And the cannon is the last building to go down. It's tree in the bag for death. Yeah, 19 Valkyries. <clears throat> um, so, let's check out another one of those bad boys. Um, cause you might say, oh, well, they're Lego walls, you know, if the guy had lava walls, that wouldn't happen. No, no, that's not entirely true here because <laughs> Pyramid brings 18 Valkyries and this is a basically all lava wall base. Same idea, four heals, two poisons, take care of things. Here comes a little bit of a queen walk charge, whatever you want to call it. She's going to start taking out defenses. Think goes up here after that army camp gets funneled off, starts working her way up the top, uh, from 9 to 12 in the base. Golem goes down, starting to create that funnel. A few minis, right? Really good placement on the minis. Uh, you know, has the Archer Tower targeting the Golem. No worries there. Here comes the 19 Valkyries. This is just ridiculous. Like, look how they move through this base. Okay, no jump spells, remind. So, <laughs> let's just drop a heal right here because they're kind of stuck on a wall. There we go. So, heal goes down. They're just going to take a few shots, knock down all these lava walls. <laughs> See you later. In we go only used one heal spell so far there goes that bomb so i think he ends up dropping another heal spell very quickly over this section yeah wants to keep these ones on the side heal sorry i lost my voice there <clears throat> i'm still guys man it's been the two weeks of this crazy cold you can tell it's getting better but man it's still there it's still lingering but these valks still under heals right there's one more heal in the bag and it's just going to go over this top section of base it doesn't really matter they're working through these lava walls like absolutely nothing um, one Valk stays there to kind of take out that wall while the rest of them follow into the main group of the main chunk of the base. Like now their heal is down. Valks are just going to continue to shred through the lava walls. Starts dropping these cleanup wizards now. Still has a poison in the bag um, as well. Has not touched his hero's abilities. Finally, the uh, pups come down. I think he might drop the poison. Yeah, there it goes. Um, does not have to use the abilities on the heroes yet, but is going to rage it up on both of them any second now. Still has a Valkyrie live on this side of the base. Cleanup wizard starting to do work. Um, still a bit of this base to go, mind you, but the healers on the king here are absolutely clutch, right? No air defenses to worry about. So the king is just getting healed by the Valks. No big deal. And the wizard's in behind doing cleanup now. Queen is about to step up and do the same. Still has not touched her ability, mind you. <clears throat> Swag queen ability. 18 Valkyries. So... I can pretty much guarantee you Valkyries are not going to stay as they are. There's no way that this is, uh, my opinion, an acceptable, viable attack. 
Uh, no offense to you guys for using it. Uh, obviously, you're going to use what the game gives you, but uh, I'm pretty confident in saying there is no way they're going to keep Valkyries in the state that they are. But for now, they are what they are, and they are beasts, guys, so use that to your advantage. Try it out. Um, you know, Maybe use it against a base that is not quite as uh, maxed as uh, you're used to facing uh, and see how it works. You know, Drop a little bit of a queen walk or a queen charge. Take out a take out a section of the base, right? You want to deal with the defensive queen, maybe deal with the CC troops, and just send in 20 Valkyries and see what happens. Keep them healed. Four, four heals, no jump spells. Ridiculous. Uh, so, again, my apologies, Dust Dominion. I really wanted to do a recap. Um, you guys deserved one. So, at least uh, you can uh, take that as... Uh, <laughs> as something even though it's not uh showing the actual uh recap of the war i'm uh, i'm pretty upset about it myself so anyhow guys that'll do it for your wisdom from wiser just trying to help you bag that next tree star till then i'm out